today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with my ninth part in my zodiac series and as normal if you don't know what I'm talking about I will leave the playlist up here and maybe my first episode where I talk a little bit more about what the zodiac series is here on my channel but I will also leave the playlist but it is me doing a makeup with the zodiac palette from Colourpop so we are in month nine and it is Virgo and Virgo in Swedish is Jungfrun. I was like how the hell am I going to do a look that is surrounding this and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that because I'm putting in some other stuff. And in these videos I can use whatever I want so I have picked out two other palettes and I think I know what I want to do. This color, it is a nice color, but it's not like a color that will stand out. So, yeah. And if you're wondering about my hair, I don't know which video is coming up first with my new hair. I have dyed it again. Didn't come out as I wanted it to, but I think I can survive this. So, yeah. I will zoom you in and then we get started with the Virgo makeup. So for this look I want to do something pretty simple and I, <laughs> yesterday I filmed a video um, and I used a loose, a pressed glitter and I have like glitter everywhere and I can't get it out. I had some in my hair this morning so yeah. Okay I'm going to start with the Linda Holberg Infinity D palette and I will use Lightyear and this makeup is going to be so so simple. I think that Colourpop could make a more fun palette than the Zodiac. And yeah, I understand that you are not supposed to use it like I use it, like do one shade each month, but it feels like some Zodiac signs always get like these boring shades. I usually make it to a more fun shade because I am a Pisces and it is usually like blue or green not always but the most of the times so I am like fine with that but it feels like some zodiac signs every in every damn palette they are like this boring shade and I'm thinking if I'm going to do something in the end of this year to like celebrate this palette I don't know what maybe do a palette bingo or something with it I don't know yet I haven't decided do you want to see something like that with this palette when I have used all the shades please let me know okay and then I'm just going to slap on this Virgo shade on my whole lid And I actually, I like this shade, it is a nice shade, but it's maybe nothing that I like. Oh, I want to use the Virgo, only the Virgo, but now I'm doing it so. This is so hard because I guess that these are the Latin names. <laughs> I want to say like the Latin names in American and some little I don't know if you think this is a fun fact or not but in school in Sweden we learn English and not American so if you wonder why I say something a little bit different or maybe like the wrong words if you live in the US that's why but we watch like we put subtitles to everything that is out, that is not on Swedish in Sweden. So we like watch most American shows and also movies and stuff. But in school you learn English. And that has been so confusing to me. Sometimes because some words are not the same. And some words I have never liked used in my life 
I have just learned them in school and never used them. Because I haven't studied English since I was 18, I think. I actually think that this is... Maybe I don't want to do what I, pl what, what, what I plan to do at first. No. I think I go with something else. Because my first thought was like, do like this and then put like a topper shade all over the lid. But I don't know if I want to do that. I think I only want to do like an inner corner and really like strong inner corner. But nothing like on the lid. This maybe wasn't so bad after all. And then just spice it up with a fun lip. We will see. I'm going to start like this and then we can see when I have like done my base and my under eyes and everything and see how I feel. But I am so sorry for all your goes out there. <sighs> if this look isn't so... And I like, I don't know what's happened here. I will take away the fallouts, I will fix my base and my brows and then we will see if I'm going to take like a topper shade all over the lid or just in my inner corner. Because I like this shade, just like this, but it's maybe a little bit boring. But yeah, I will try. So I come back when everything is finished with the base and the brows and we will see what we are going to do. Okay, so for my lower lash I will do the same. I will take this lighter from Linda Holberg and really like smoke it out on my eyes. Not smoke it up, but like not being careful or precise with it. And then I will go in with the Virgo from Colourpop and do the same. Okay, so I feel that this is maybe a little bit too boring. So I will take from the Enchanted Secrets from Linda Holberg and I will take this ethereal and put it in my inner corner and I think I want to spray this. I don't know if you can see it. This is like a little duochrome. Okay, I'm not going to try to explain what this is because it's hard. And first my thought was to put this all over my lid. But I, I like this lid. Even though it's only like one color and like a dark brown gray. And I just feel that I want to do something fun on my lips but I don't really know what. But I think the eyes are really like this so I am going to take something in my wash line. I don't know maybe a little yellow or something. I don't know and put on mascara and try to choose a lipstick for this. So. I will do the last things and then I will come back and we see the finished Virgo look. Okay, so this is the finished look. For my wash line I used Unz from Colourpop and for my lips I used Jeffree Star and many MUAs collab. I'm shook and yeah, I think it goes good. And I actually like this look. It's just like I say that like with every look I do. But I didn't thought that this was going to be any good at all but I I think it went well and it's a fly in here do you have this like it feels like this year in Sweden this summer it has been a fly invasion it's like flies everywhere but okay this is my Virgo look with the 
Virgo shade from Colourpop palette. And next month it is Libra. This one and I'm like, what the hell am I going to do with this? And then it's only two shades left and it's like, where has this year gone? I don't get this. So please tell me if you want me to do something more with this when the year is over. I am will do a review on this palette. Maybe like a palette bingo and review in one. Or is that strange to do that? Because when this year is over I have used all the shades. And if I do a palette bingo I use some of the shades more. So if you want me to do that please tell me. And maybe I can... This is not one of my favorite palettes and I don't know if it is only because I use one shade at a time. Maybe I will like it more when I do a palette bingo and have some different shades from this palette but this is not the best palette that Colourpop has made. We can just say it like that. So I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!